What is up, everybody? Welcome to DFS by the Numbers. This is my main event breakdown and prediction for UFC Vegas 84. We got Magomed and Goliath going against Johnny Walker, too. And we are back for another main event breakdown and prediction. This week, we are breaking down the main event for UFC Vegas 84. It is Magman Ankalaev, Johnny Walker 2, a fight that happened not too long ago. Ended up being a no contest, so they're running it back here. And this time around, it's going to be five rounds. Yeah, definitely looking forward to getting right back into it. It's been a very long, like, three weeks off. I, you know, Saturdays have sucked, so really happy to be right back into it and breaking down this fight. And going to be getting out my full card breakdown and prediction video on Monday. So before we get into it and break it all down, if you guys can please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. It is always much, much appreciated. But I say we get into it. We have some odds out. We have the totals dropped like last week. And then we also have, of course, the money line. And we'll talk about all that. See if we can make some money on this main event. All right. So light heavyweight fight, five rounds. Magomed Ankalaev uh, versus Johnny Walker. We'll start with Ankalaev here. He's 31 years old, six foot three with a 75 inch reach, 18 1 and 1. And he is uh, in his last five fights, he's 3 0 in one draw and then one no contest. As far as Johnny Walker, he is 31 years old, six foot six with an 82 inch reach, 21 and seven, and three one in one no contest in his last five fights. Of course, that no contest coming in the Ankalaya fight, which happened uh, not that long ago. It actually happened, I want to say, what about a month, a month and four weeks, almost almost two months ago. So they're running it back here and they're doing it five rounds. I'm actually surprised that they're giving Johnny Walker another main event slot. I thought he would never get another main event slot after that Tiago Santos five-round fight where just nothing happened. It was one of the worst fights I've ever watched. And it seems like as of late, Johnny Walker's kind of changed up his style a little bit, right? Um, you know, early in his career, Johnny Walker was this crazy madman, you know, wild, um, just wild guy, right? And then nowadays, he looks to be like a lot more composed, um, he's fighting a lot smarter, I'd say, and he's having success doing so. Um, he's rattled off three wins in a row up until that no contest against Magomed and Ankalaya. But yeah, we're seeing a much different, much smarter version, I'd say, of Johnny Walker. Uh, as far as Magomed Ankalaev, I'm not the biggest fan of the guy, um, just because I, I don't think he's that exciting to watch. But he's a very, very good fighter. He's a guy that just does everything right. He's a guy that's not going to take a ton of chances. He's not going to make many mistakes. He's a guy that has a lot of skill, just not the most exciting fighter in the world. And when it comes to this fight, I see this fight playing out you know, one of two ways. And I really don't see any other way. The first way I see this fight playing out is somebody gets knocked out within like the first two minutes of the fight. Which, it could definitely happen. This is a light heavyweight fight. Both these guys possess power. Johnny Walker's shown some durability issues in the past. So I could see somebody get knocking, getting knocked out early. Or the other way I'm expecting this fight to play out. And this is kind of where I lean. And that is going to be a fight that actually goes the full 25 minutes. And, you know, Magomed and is a guy that's not going to force the finish. Like, like I said, he's not going to take a ton of chances. He's content to go out there and win minutes. And, and win fights, which is great. I mean, this guy's won 18 fights, 18 wins on this guy's record. Only one loss. The one loss comes against Paul Craig, where he slipped up with like a second left. So he's very smart. He's not going to take chances. Not the most exciting style, but, you know, it's going to win fights. Um, you know, he's a big favorite here. Magomed Inc. Alive is minus 550. I mean, that's... I mean, that's why. I mean, he opened up uh, minus 600 even this time around. Minus 550 now. It's just a lot going against a guy as dangerous as Johnny Walker. But the reason he's such a big favorite is because he has, you know, a couple paths to victory here. The first path to victory would be simply knocking out Johnny Walker, who's been knocked out a ton in his career. And, yeah, Johnny Walker's been knocked out four times. Four times in his career. So, Malcolm Inc. Alive knocking out Johnny Walker is certainly on the table. But the path to victory I like for Mogman Inc. Alive, and I think is the smartest path to victory for Mogman Inc. Alive, is going to be taking this fight down to the mat and controlling Johnny Walker. Um, you know, when they fought last time out two months ago, um, the fight lasted, I think, about four minutes or so, almost four minutes. And yeah, it was very competitive on the feet. You know, these guys, I think Mogman Inc. Alive landed. 13 significant strikes, Johnny Walker 14. And then it looked like Ankalaev hurt Johnny Walker to the body, but I'm not sure if Johnny Walker was faking or what. 
but uh, Ankalaev, you know, swarms in. Johnny Walker tries to land a, a flying knee, but you know, the striking was very close and competitive. And then after Johnny Walker either got hurt or faked, got, get hurt, you, know, you never know with Johnny Walker. We saw Ankalaev push Johnny Walker against the cage, take him down, try to get to his back, control him, and he was having success. You know, Johnny Walker, we've shown that in the past, that is definitely a way to beat him. We saw Nikita Krilov take him down, control him, and win minutes down there. And I think that's the path to victory for Magomed Ankalaev. The only thing that concerns me is in Ankalaev's five-round fight with Jan Blachowicz, this guy didn't even try to wrestle until like the third round, which was very interesting. If he does that here, I mean, Johnny Walker's going to have a shot. But yeah, I would like to see Ankle Live go to the grappling a lot earlier, a lot more often. And if he does that, I think he makes it look pretty easy and, and pays off this price tag. But the end, at the end of the day, this is a light heavyweight fight. And Johnny Walker, he's six foot six, going to have a three inch height advantage. He's going to have a seven inch reach advantage. And he has a ton of power. But Ankle Live's really shown no durability issues. We haven't really seen him hurt. Uh, whereas on the flip side with Johnny Walker, he gets hurt all the time. So, yeah, I think Ankalaev should be the favorite. Should be a big favorite, but minus 550. I, I wouldn't really feel comfortable laying anywhere near that on Ankalaev against a guy who, again, is d as dangerous as Johnny Walker. So, I like Ankalaev. I'm actually leaning Ankalaev by decision. And we take a look at the odds here. Like I said, Ankalaev minus 550, really big favorite. I, I wouldn't touch that. Not even a parlay piece for me this week. And then the over-under is actually set at one and a half rounds. So this could look either really bad or it could look like the best bet ever. But I'm kind of leaning the over one and a half rounds. Over one and a half is minus 140. Under one and a half is plus 110. A lot of Johnny Walker fights have finished under. But he's just he's been switching up his style lately. He's a lot more composed. He's not going out there, taking a lot of chances, a lot of risks. And then you have Mago Ink Alive, who who doesn't take any risks risk to begin with. So I'm um, leaning the over one and a half, might be a little bit sweaty or might not be. You know, these guys might not do anything for seven and a half minutes. Like I can see a scenario where both these guys don't do anything for, for, for a lot of this fight. So yeah, I'm liking the over. I'm like an ankle live and then maybe even ankle live by decisions, probably a ridiculous price as well. So that's kind of how I'm leaning for this first fight back. I don't think it's going to be the most exciting fight because it is a Mogman ankle live fight and a lot of his fights aren't that exciting, but I think it's a pretty good matchup for him and I'm looking forward to getting right back into it. So um, yeah, ankle live, ankle live by decision for me. And then looking at the overs, let me know down in the comments you guys have for this fight. I'm assuming everybody's going to have ankle live. Johnny Walker plus 400. I mean, that's it's not. It's, it could be worth a shot. Johnny Walker plus 400. Johnny Walker by knockout. I think that's how he wins. I'm not sure what that's going to be, but that's probably something crazy as well. So maybe something like that if you're on the Walker side. But I'm assuming there's not going to be many people on the Johnny Walker side. So uh, be on the lookout for the full card breakdown and prediction video that is going to be out on Monday. I have all third or all 12 fights taped. Just have to record and edit and all that good stuff. So that'll be out on Monday. And yeah, really glad to be back and looking forward to a great 2024. Best of luck, guys, with UFC Vegas 84. We'll talk to you soon. See you later.